Hi, my name is Kurt from Code Crafters. This video is from my Roblox Masterclass course, which you can find more about in the description below. Okay, so today we are going to learn about variables. Now, variables are a really, really important part of scripting as um, they allow you to shorten down and make your code much easier to read, okay? Um, so if I add a script into, we're gonna add it inside of this part here, okay? Um, one thing you might have noticed from previous lessons um, when we're looking at properties is that it gets very repetitive. Um, whenever you want to reference a part, you keep having to say game.workspace.part every single time, okay? And that's relatively short for um, code to reference. If you had a couple of folders saying like um, map, sorry, map2, I guess then, um, um, you could say um, shopping center. And so on, you kind of get the point. You can have a lot of different, um, and then, I don't know, um, add a folder, shop free, and then there's your, you know, you get the point. You, take, you can have a lot of folders and models included in your game, which can take it from just game.workspace.part to game.workspace.map2.shoppingcenter.shopfree.part. So you can see how writing that out every single time can get very repetitive, okay? Um, which is why we need variables, okay? So how variables work is that um, you can store any data type to a certain word, okay? So the word you choose um, then becomes a keyword. So whenever you use that word in your, um, in your code, it means whatever the data type is you've assigned it to. So think back to data types. We've got numbers, we've got booleans, we've got um, color frees, vector frees, enums, objects. Um, so even though variables are typically used for objects, for referencing, okay, don't forget that they can be used for lots of other things as well, okay? Um, so let's have a look how to create a variable, okay? So you will first need to use a keyword to create this variable. The keyword is local, okay? You'll use this word local um, to create your own keyword um, most of the time. So um, you'd write local to tell it that you're creating, um, you're assigning a keyword with something, okay? And after the local, you actually include a space. It's one of the rare cases that in scripting you include a space. Um, Obviously, we do it with the equal signs, but actually, in the bit of in the bit of code, um, you're not you don't often include spaces. Um, you've got local there, and then then you say the variable name. So, the variable name, whatever you want to include, whatever you want to write it as. Okay, you then make that equal to um, any data type. Okay, and let's just note this out so it's um, a bit better. So you have the variable name, and you have the data type, okay? Um, so let's have a look at an example of this. So let's create a variable which stores the object value of the part. In short, it basically stores the bit that we reference it with. So um, we're gonna, I'm gonna call this local part because it kind of stores the part, is equal to, and now I just reference it. I can just say game.workspace.map2 dot shopping center, dot shop free, dot part, okay? I have now referenced um, that part here. So the word part is equal to all of this bit of code here. So later on in my script, if I then use the word part, I see it as part, the script sees it as this because it is equal to, this word here is equal to this. So writing this is the exact same um, is the exact same as just writing this. It's just shorter to look at, okay? Which makes it so much easier to do stuff because instead of writing all of that dot position is equal to this, you can then just say part dot position is equal to vector read on new zero 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 for example, okay? So it makes it so much easier um, to write your code and quicker as well. 
it makes it easier to understand and read. So very, very useful, okay? Um, but as I explained as well, um, variables are not just for referencing objects, even though that's what they are commonly used for, they can also be used for any other data type, okay? So for example, you can say local position. Um, that's, that's probably not a great one. Let's say local part position. The reason why I don't want to use position is you might get confused with the position property name. Um, and then we can set that to be a vector free value. Um, one, two, three, for example. And I can then say part.position and get rid of this bit here and just say is equal to part position. Okay. Um, so again, we see it as this, but the script knows that this here is equal to this data type here. So it's basically equivalent of just writing that out there. Okay. Um, so you can overly see how it really does shorten down your code and makes it flow much better. Okay. Um, a couple, now you know how to do them. There's a couple of things you need to be aware about them. Um, firstly, they have to be created before you use them. Okay. And what I mean by that is um, you need to write the local bit and assign it to a value. So assign it to, this is the value I assigned part to, for example, before I go ahead and use it in my script. I can't do it the other way around and write it here because for the script hasn't read this bit yet. So it doesn't know what part means. You need to tell it what it means before you can use it, okay? It's like I needed to tell you what a variable was before you could use a variable. I can't tell you to use a variable and then later on teach you how to do it. Teaching comes first, okay? But telling you how to do it comes first. And that's the exact same with variables here, okay? Second thing is there are some rules when using the name, when creating the name of a variable, okay? Um, so um, the name cannot contain any spaces or special characters. So you can't say part space position has to be all one word. And you can't have any special characters, so don't be putting in, um, I don't know, um, hashtags or weird signs, okay? You can't you can't use those. Only, you can use numbers, um, they're fine, but um, anything else you don't really wanna use as a variable. It also makes it e more difficult to use later on as well. So not typically the best idea. Um, they also cannot be a current keyword. So you cannot create a variable called local print, okay? okay? Because you're, you're, creating a, you're creating a new keyword um, but print's already taken. There's a keyword which is to do with the print function, okay? So it's only taken, so you need to use another one, okay? Um, and this isn't a rule, but it's just a very good idea, is to um, make the name of the variable similar, or it's to do with what it stores. Um, so for example, this here stores the referencing of the part, so I called it part, okay? I didn't call it something like, um, I don't know, um, I didn't call it melon or um, apple, okay? Because it doesn't make sense. And then when you when you use it later on in your script, you see apple written down and like, what did I, what does apple mean? And then you've got to go all the way up to, to see what it means and then go all the back down. It just, it makes it so much diff more difficult, okay? So make make it easier for yourself. And when you're writing these, um, make, it, make it equal to what actually it stores. So here, for example, I said part position because I'm assigning it to the parts position value, for example, okay? Um, so just make it su somewhat similar to what it stores, okay? Um, third is when you might want to use variables, okay? There's one very obvious reason, and there's one reason which is maybe not as obvious, but you should still know about. So the most obvious reason is to save yourself time, okay? Um, creating a variable for the part here um, avoids me writing all of this bit here. I only have to write that part bit at the end. And if I'm changing five properties of the part, that's extremely useful. It's, that, that takes up a lot of my time, so it makes things a lot, lot quicker, a lot quicker to read, and um, and obviously write as well. 
So that's the first obvious reason. The second reason is when you have a key value that you might want to change frequently. Now this one's less common, but um, it's still you should still know about it. So let's, for example, um, say you you want to code a a a, um, a sword, for example, okay. And um, this sword you want to have a it has a couple of values. Obviously, you have the amount of damage the sword deals and the time between each hit that you can make. Okay, um, it would be a good idea to set a variable called damage and make it equal to how much damage you want the sword to deal. Because if then later on you want to reuse your script, but you want to change a value of damage or there maybe there's a, a game pass you could buy which makes swords deal more damage, it makes it much easier to change than if you'd you'd written it in your in your code somewhere, in your 200 lines of code and you try and find it. Okay. So it's a second reason why variables are such a good idea to use. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a really good example about how variables are so useful. Okay, similar kind of thing with everything else. As just like, this is just the basics. So we'll be using this pretty much every single lesson. So you'll have plenty of examples about how um, variables are used. But hopefully this gives you a good overview and a chance for you to try some out for yourself. Okay, so if you still have some of the um, scripts that you've used for um, pra practicing um, changing properties, I'd recommend going back back in that and um, making a variable for the part and then writing it all out again um, or just getting rid of the bits that you don't need because you'll find out that actually how much easier it is to use basically. Um, so yeah, oh, one more thing as well I should mention, um, variables always, always go at the start, okay? Don't you don't only create a variable when you need when you just above when you need it, okay? Block them all out at the start. That's just because it's um, they're all in one place, and it means that you can use them throughout your code instead of just with one uh, one bit of your code. Okay, so quite a bit to learn about variables, but you will um, become more comfortable with them as you go along. Okay, so have a practice of those, and then um, join me in the next lesson.